Be the king and his men. Let's find a safe way down. Don't think we can get through here. Maybe there's another entrance somewhere. I was a survivor. I don't know why I survived the Great War or the winters of famine that followed. Perhaps the gods were looking out for me. Whatever the reason, live I did. I settled in the tiny village of Lear, as did the others with nowhere else to turn. As more survivors came, our village became a town. Our town became a city. Our city became a kingdom. I became a town elder then a mayor. And before I died, the first queen of the kingdom of Lear, I died peacefully in my sleep. I never dreamed I would die in my sleep. of which I... I... Uh, oh, God, have mercy! What the... Easy, boys. You don't want to fight us. We're on your side. We've come to see the king. Let them through. What have we left to lose? So, what brings warriors such as yourselves to the crumbling walls of Lear, eh? Bloodlust? Greed? 
come to scavenge the bones of the dead? We're looking for a girl. A girl? <laughs> the world crashes in around us and you come looking for a girl. We were sent by the Lord Mayor of Dyfed to seek his daughter. <laughs> Mercenaries. Your kind brought this hell upon us. Destroyed my city. Enslaved my people. You mistake us for the Wargar. Or Minotaur cows. Puppets. Tools. They serve a man, a treacherous cur of a mercenary by the name of Anuvin. Anuvin. I've heard that name. Aye. He was a dragon hunter, I think. Aye. For years, Lear and its outlying lands were plagued by a great black dragon that dwelt in the ruined city of Kalamur. I hired Anuvin at great cost to slay the beast. I even gave him one of Lear's most powerful items, the Death Stone, in the hopes it would help him. Anuvin and his companions ventured into the depths of Kalamur. They were never heard from again. Nor was the dragon. We assumed Anuvin perished while slaying the beast. I sent my men to investigate. That's how we learned that Anuvin survived. He had made Kalamur his stronghold. He had gathered there an army of Minotaur and Wargar and creatures of evil. Now, he brings ruin down upon us. I am sorry for your plight, but we've just come for the girl. Is she here or not? Aye, she's here. My men rescued her this morning. Giselle. My, my father sent you? I. We were sent by the Lord Mayor of Dyfed. Yes, that's my father. That's your father? Yes. Somebody has some explaining to do. Right. Come with us then, lass. We'll take you home. But the people here, they need help. We're not here for them. We're here for you. Come on. But... What do you want from us, damn it? We're not here to save the world or even save one blazing city. We're not heroes. No. No, you're not. Kadik, we can't walk away. There's no profit in this, Ilara. It's suicide. No. It's genocide. Will you keep the girl safe until she can be returned to Dyford? I... Yes, I'll do whatever I can. Good. Just... If you live through this, build a statue of us or something. A big one. Out of gold, if you've any left. I... The gods bless you. Bless you both. Kalamur is downriver from us. There are docks nearby. You should be able to find something that can still float. My mother always told me not to hang out with you. I'm starting to see why. Your mother also said you should be a carpenter. Are you saying you'd rather be handcrafting an armoire than doing things? Do you really want me to answer that question? We're all forsaken. Has my savior deserted us? Left us to die a horrible, painful death. I look forward that my beloved city of Lear burned to land. Lost faith. Lost all hope. Burned. The Lear I love is gone. Ha! There's a pretty penny. Left us to die a horrible, 
painful death. And if God would let my beloved city of Lear burn to the ground, have we been forsaken? Does my savior desert us? Let us to die a horrible, painful death. What kind of God would let my beloved city of Lear burn to the ground? I've lost faith. I've lost all hope. It burns. The Lear I love is gone. We've been forsaken. Has my savior deserted us? Left us to die a horrible, painful death? What kind of God would let my beloved city of Lear burn to the ground? I've lost faith. I've lost all hope. It burns. The Lear I love is gone. <laughs> Done. Start a fire there, girl. I'm sure you've been looking for an excuse. For you? Anything. My love, and I thank you for bringing us together again. Oh. 
Okay, here we go. If it isn't the Queen of Deception, you realize you're dead. And I may not hold her back this time, Seraphim. You cannot be angry. I did not wish to deceive you, but I had no choice. <laughs> I don't buy it. Do you not even know yourselves? Your history presents not one shred of evidence you do anything out of the kindness of your heart. You would never have come willingly to seek Anuvan's destruction. Not without riches dangled in front of you. So I deceived you, hoping once you saw this despair with your own eyes, your hearts would soften. So the King was right. We have been your puppets, pulling strings to kill Anuvin. Why? What is he to you? Let us simply say that the King of Leo is not the only one Anuvin has betrayed. <laughs> is that all? The mighty Seraphin, a woman scorned. Scorned or not, I could not defeat him alone. But my magic merged to your skills and channeled through the Death Stone. My gut feeling is that we should just walk away. However, it seems we do share a common goal. Then you'll do it? You'll destroy Anuvan? Aye, we'll do it. But not for you. The why matters not to me, only the deed. Come, let us seal our agreement with the exchange of power. Before my death, I was a scholar in the Library of Lear. I was cataloging artifacts from the war when I found the most peculiar gemstone. Bright green and carved like a skull. Where it came from, I haven't the foggiest, but it possessed the power to give voice to the dead. The Death Stone, I named it. It became one of the most prized and useful possessions of the royal family. Dragons and mountains.
much longer I'm worthy. I don't think we're alone. Seraphin did say a new enemy would try harder to stop us. Borgar, Minotaur, dragons, and now demons? that demon back to hell. Right back to where the bastard belongs. Good job, Elara. There, a boat. If we go down river, it should take us towards the ruins of Kalamur. All right, and when we get there, what then? Kill, or be killed. Business as usual, then. We've ridden the current all night, floating down the river. There's a growing sense of unease in the air. There's nothing about this that I like. So why do I feel so calm? Ilara's not said a word the whole time. Lost in thought, I suppose. Seeing her in a contemplative mood may be the wrongest thing of all. Second thoughts, girl. And third and fourth. Let's get this over with. 